Today we are going to crochet a very cute little bear round cake bag. The material used is a five strand milk cotton yarn for crocheting. Using a 4.0 millimeters crochet hook. It has a large capacity inside, can hold a mobile phone, and some daily small items. Please like and subscribe if you like it. Next, let's crochet together. First, wrap two loops on the fingers. Then take off the starting loop. Insert the crochet hook into the starting loop. Pull out a loop. Then crochet two starting stitches. Next, crochet the first round. First, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Insert the crochet hook into the starting loop. Pull out a loop. Now the crochet hook has three loops on it. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Pull through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn again. Pull through the last two loops. This is the method for a double crochet. At the stitches formed at the top of the first double crochet, place a marker. Next, follow the same method. Crochet a total of 12 double crochet stitches into the starting loop. Pull up a loop. Now the crochet hook has three loops on it. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. First, pull through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Then pull through the last two loops. Continue until there are 10 double crochet stitches. Next, let's count the right stitches. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Now the crochet hook has three loops on it. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. First, pull through the first two loops. Wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Then pull through the last two loops. Continue until there are 10 double crochet stitches. Next, let's count the stitches formed at the top of the right stitches. Next, let's count the rows. The first two turning chains do not count as rows. Start counting from the first long row. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 12. Next, let's work on the opening part. We can see there are two strands and one tail here. First, pull the inner strand to the right to tighten, then pull the outer tail. This will narrow the opening. Next, work with the first row. Position the first button, hook and knit a draw from connection. In this way, the first round is completed, then hook and knit two chain stitches. Let's start hooking and knitting the second round. The pattern for increasing stitches in the second round is to add a long stitch in each stitch. That is, two long stitches need to be hooked and knitted in each stitch. A total of 12 groups are hooked and knitted. Next, watch me demonstrate. First, hook and knit around the yarn. Insert into the first stitch. Hook and knit a long stitch. Crochet hook around the yarn. Insert into the first stitches. Again, hook and knit a double crochet. This completes the first set of cable stitches. Then crochet hook around the yarn. Come to the second stitches. In the same stitches, hook and knit two double crochets. Insert into the second stitches. Again, hook and knit another double crochet. This completes two sets of cable stitches. Next, follow the cluster method. Finish hooking and knitting the second round as per the cluster method. The second round of crochet is completed. There are a total of 24 double crochet stitches. Then calculate. Crochet a slip stitch to join in the first stitches. Then crochet two chain stitches. We start crocheting the third round. The pattern for the third round is as follows. Increase one double crochet every other stitches. First, crochet one double crochet in the first stitches. Then, increase one double crochet in the second stitches. That is, crochet two double crochet stitches in the same stitches. This completes the first group. Then crochet the second group. First, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Crochet one double crochet in the first stitches. Then, crochet two double crochet stitches in the second stitches. This completes two groups of clusters. Next, follow the cluster method. This completes two groups of clusters. Next, follow the cluster method. This completes two groups of clusters. Next, follow the cluster method. This completes two groups of clusters. Next, follow the cluster method. This completes two groups of clusters. 
Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of 12 sets of increases. Finish crocheting the third round. After crocheting, there are a total of 36 double crochets. Next, crochet a slip stitch to connect with the first stitch. Next, crochet two chain stitches. Start crocheting the fourth round. The increase pattern for the fourth round is to increase one double crochet every two double crochets. First, wrap the yarn around the crochet hook. Crochet one double crochet at the first stitch. Crochet one double crochet at the second stitch. Crochet an increase with a double crochet at the third stitch. This completes the first group. Continue to crochet hook around the yarn. Crochet a double crochet at the fourth stitch. Crochet a double crochet at the fifth stitch. Increase a double crochet at the sixth stitch. This completes two groups of stitches. Next, crochet the fourth round following the cluster method. Complete this round of crochet. A total of 12 groups are crocheted. After completing the fourth round, there are a total of 48 double crochets. Then, crochet a slip stitch to join with the first stitch. Next, crochet two chain stitches. We will start crocheting the fifth round. Next, the fifth round is crocheted with a pattern of skip three stitches and then add one stitch. The sixth round is crocheted with a pattern of skip four stitches and then add one stitch. Our fifth round is crocheted with a pattern of skip four stitches and then add one stitch. Crochet the sixth round following the pattern. After completing the sixth round of crochet, cut the yarn, pull out the yarn end from the back of the first stitch, pull the yarn through. Then insert the crochet hook, the last full stitch, half a full stitch, pull the yarn through. This way we have finished crocheting the main body part. Next, crochet the body of the bag. Insert the hook from any position. Pick up the outer half of the yarn. Bring in a new strand of yarn. First, crochet a foundation stitch. Then, within the same stitch, Crochet a single crochet. Next, within each stitch. Crochet a single crochet. No need to increase or cut. Continue crocheting. And finish with the first stitch. Crochet one stitch and join with a slip stitch. Then crochet a standing stitch. We start crocheting the second round. The second to third rounds of the body are two rounds of single crochet in each stitch. Crochet one single crochet in each stitch. Starting from the second round, we adjust the entire stitches. After completing three rounds of single crochet stitches, sew the mesh board from the material pack together halfway as shown in the video, then insert the mesh into the main body. One stitches up from the opening. Place a marker at each opening. Next, take out the mesh. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Crochet from this marker to the position of the other marker.
Crochet to the position of the other marker. Remove the marker. Crochet a single crochet. Then crochet a slip stitch. Cut the yarn. Pull out the yarn end. Return to the starting position. Rejoin the yarn in the first stitches. Next, insert the mesh into the main body. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Next, pull out the mesh. Next, insert the mesh into the main body. First, crochet a slip stitch. Then in each stitches. Crochet a single crochet. Continue crocheting to the position of the other marker, at the marked position. When it's almost the end of crocheting, we can wrap the yarn end inside. Crochet together. This will save us a bit of time, a step of hiding the yarn end. After finishing the last single crochet, Crochet a standing stitch in the same way. Insert the hook. Pull the yarn through. Then return to the starting position. Start a new yarn. Crochet another row of one South Carolina in each stitch of single crochet. Continue, 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 continue. Turn the work at the sixth row, after finishing the crochet. Let's count. How many stitches are left in the first opening step? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28. A total of 28 stitches. So we continue to crochet. 28 chain stitches. Crochet loosely. After crocheting 28 chain stitches, we reach the first stitches. Crochet a slip stitch to join. Crochet a standing stitch here. We start crocheting the seventh round. First, at the first stitches, crochet a point stitch. Then, within each stitches, crochet a single crochet. We pass the needle from the center of the braid, outwards. Pick the outer half loop. Crochet a single crochet. A total of 28 single crochets are crocheted. Then, within the first stitches, continue to crochet the second stitches. Continue to crochet three stitches. Finally, at the marker position, crochet a slip stitch to join. Crochet a standing stitch. Crochet the eighth round. From the eighth round to the ninth round, it's one South Carolina in each stitch for two rounds. We will crochet these two rounds. Finish crocheting the ninth round. Our side is crocheted. Next, crochet the ears of the bear. The position of the ears. We start from one side. 
Extend downwards with a stitch. Then place a marker. Count from the stitch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These nine stitches are the position of the first ear. Continue counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 stitches between the two ears. Then start counting from the next stitch with a marker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. These nine stitches are the position of the second ear. Remove the marker from the first stitch. Insert the crochet hook into the remaining half stitch of the body. Start a new line. First crochet a foundation chain. Then crochet hook around the yarn. In the second stitches. Crochet one double crochet. One triple crochet. Then in the third stitches. Crochet one double crochet. Three double crochet. And one quadruple double crochet. Then in the fourth stitch, fifth stitch and sixth stitch. In these three stitches, crochet two in each stitches. Five double crochet. Continue, continue, continue. Continue, continue. Hello? Can I put a picture here? Then in the seventh stitch, in the eighth stitch,
then in the eighth stitch, crochet two double crochet. Join a double crochet. Then in the ninth stitch, crochet a slip stitch. Crochet a chain stitch. Cut the yarn. Pull the yarn end through. And hide the yarn end with a hand sewing needle. Hide the yarn end with a hand sewing needle. Shape the ear with your hand. Using the same method, crochet the other ear. Next, at the opening of the bag, attach the zipper. After sewing the zipper, let's make the facial features. We start making the bear's nose. First, wrap the yarn around your finger twice. Insert the crochet hook into the loop. Pull up a loop. Crochet a chain stitch. For the first round, we work inside the loop. Crochet six single crochet stitches. Around the two single crochet stitches. After crocheting six single crochet stitches, tighten the loop. Next, crochet a slip stitch to join with the first stitch. Crochet a slip stitch. We start crocheting the second round. The second round is to crochet two single crochets in each stitches. Crochet a total of six times. Thank you everyone. After completing the second round, there are a total of 12 single crochets. Then, connect with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Crochet a starting stitch and we begin the third round. The increase pattern for the third round is to increase one stitch every other stitches. First, crochet a single crochet in the first stitches. Increase one single crochet in the second stitches. This completes one group. Then, crochet a single crochet in the third stitches. Increase one single crochet in the fourth stitches. This completes two groups. Following the same pattern, finish crocheting the third round. Crochet a total of six groups. Finish crocheting the third round. There are a total of 18 single crochets. Then, connect with a slip stitch to the first stitch. Stitch connection. Crochet a starting stitch. We begin the fourth round. In each stitches of the fourth round, single crochet, no increases or decreases. Last in the first stitches. Single crochet to join. 
Continue with a standing stitch. Cut the yarn. Join the yarn end. Pull out. Leave a long tail for sewing. Next, crochet a bow. First, make a slip knot on the finger. Insert the crochet hook into the starting loop. Crochet 10 chain stitches. Then go back to the last stitches. Single crochet. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches in order. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches in order. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches in order. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Then in sequence, crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Then in sequence, Continue crocheting 7 single crochet. In the last stitches. In the same stitches. Crochet two single crochet. Then crochet a slip stitch. Turn the work. Join the first and second stitches. Together as one stitch. Then continue crocheting seven single crochet in sequence. Then join the last two stitches. Together as one stitch. Then crochet a slip stitch. Turn the work. Start crocheting the fourth row. The fourth row is one South Carolina in each stitch. Crochet nine single crochet. Crochet a single crochet in each stitches. Next, proceed with edging. First, crochet a foundation chain. Edge the four sides. First, in the first stitches, crochet a foundation chain. Then edge. Crochet two single crochets. Crochet one single crochet in each remaining stitches. Inside the corner crochet two single crochets. Crochet to the end and slip stitch to join with the first stitches. Make a bow shape. Next, assemble the expression. First, sew the nose in the appropriate position. Then sew the eyes in the appropriate position. Finally, sew the bow. It's also possible to use glue. Next, sew the eyes in the appropriate position.
Next, flip to the back. First, sew the mesh piece on. Then, sew the patch pieces together. Then, sew this red patch. When sewing the patches together, pick the outer half of the main part. Pick up the entire stitches on the side. Sew in a rolling manner. One stitch corresponds to one stitch. Knit into two threads.